Lawmakers, watchdog groups, and taxpayers are all reacting to a Call 6 investigation that exposed holes in the state's open door law. Now, that law is designed to keep public meetings public, but our Call 6 investigator, Kara Kenny, found some school districts violating that law without facing consequences. Kara. Well, Erica, one way to hold your school board accountable is to not vote for them. A number of citizens in Greencastle say they can't make that choice because their board is appointed, not elected. Today, we found more than a dozen Indiana school boards are appointed. Approval of minutes. The Greencastle Community School Corporation is one of 15 school boards out of 290 statewide where members are appointed, not elected. Taxpayers contacted the Call 6 investigators frustrated they can't get answers. When we went to a public meeting, we tried to talk to the board and superintendent about a recent violation of the open door law. Can we steal you for a few minutes? I'm really in a hurry. Uh, well, we've been here for almost three three hours. You won't talk to us? Having the opportunity to vote in or vote out certain people on the school board does help people at least feel like they have an outlet for frustration. Julia Vaughn is with the government watchdog group Common Cause Indiana and says citizens can still take action even if their board members are appointed. I think certainly attending the meetings, uh, trying to speak up, you know, just trying to positively engage um, things like letters to the editor in the local newspaper. Electing people doesn't guarantee that you're not going to have any problems with school board. Unlike 15 other states, Indiana law doesn't guarantee your right to speak at most public meetings, only to observe and record them. I think. I think there's always room for improvement. Senator Beverly Gard authored a bill adding penalties for open door law violators, but our Call 6 investigation revealed the burden is on the taxpayer to prove the official did so intentionally. You know, you can always do better. Gard admits she gets more complaints about school boards not being transparent than other types of government. Anytime you talk about anything to do with our children, it tends to be more emotional. Um, just, I, that may be the reason. Now, Senator Gard is retiring, but she hopes other lawmakers will continue to update the law requiring school boards to be more transparent and hold them accountable when they're not. For example, we found many school board members don't list their contact information on their website, but Senator Gard says that should be a requirement for public officials. Kara Kenny, RTV6.